Aloha. Welcome. Thank you for coming to this live stream today. Today is October 31st, 2016. It is my greatest honor to connect with you today. My name is Master Paul Fletcher, and I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. Today is, uh, in, in, in all of the teachings that I've done in these last four months, is one of the most important teachings from my perspective, because I will be giving you some background about who is Dr. and Master Sha. If any of you have been coming to my live streams for these past four or five months, you have blessed, been blessed to receive great wisdom and teachings and healings, <clears throat> all of which I give 100% credit to my spiritual teacher and father, Dr. and Master Shah, for truly without the wisdom and blessings that he has offered me, I would not be able to serve you in the way I have been. And so this weekend I used to prepare for um, what I wish to be teaching and offering service in for the next six months. And when I sat down and did my meditation and connected um, to all the things that I want to bring, uh, bring to you, to be able to, to assist humanity, to be able to assist you. Um, I was amazed to see how many different things that I still can be sharing with you. And so it is a great honor to, to devote this entire time to giving you some background, some um, significance to who this, this being is, so that you, when you listen to me in the future, you have a, a much greater gratitude, appreciation, and understanding <clears throat> of the wisdom and the teacher of that wisdom. So uh, I want to start by, first of all, bowing my head to my spiritual teacher and father, Dr. and Master Shah. Uh, cannot bow down enough, countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. One of the students um, uh, texted me the other day and he said, he said, you know, I have a problem with this word master in front of your name. Um, and so I let him, you know, converse about that for a while. And one of the things I shared with him, I said, you know, honestly, I have a similar problem with it in that I really don't want to put that in front of my name. It's just a title. It's just a, you know, something that, that we are asked to do as, as being elevated to a worldwide representative of Dr. Master Shah. We're being asked to use that label of master before our name. And I explained to him that the only reason that we're asked to do that is so that people understand the, you know, who we're representing, which is not Master Shah, we're representing the divine. Uh, and we carry the divine's power. That divine power uh, is extraordinary. It creates healing miracles. It creates changes in people's life like nothing else can because it's not my power, it's divine's power. And that's the reason the title is there. It's the same reason the title is there in front of Dr. and Master Shah. So uh, I want to uh, first of all connect with everybody and, <clears throat> and then we'll go into uh, a bit more about this most extraordinary being. And I would invite each of you to please share this video uh, by hitting the share button now and letting other people that come to your timeline become aware of it because they might see it and go, huh, who is Master Shah? and they might tune in and you could awaken their soul in their soul journey. So it'd be a great service. So welcome Marina, welcome Ari, welcome Carol Whitney, welcome Archana, welcome Tawana and Amy Manago, welcome Kristen, welcome also Elizabeth Folk, uh, welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Angie, Patrice, good to see you Patrice, Tammy J. And welcome Raul. Been about a week or so since I've seen you, Raul. Great to see you back here. Welcome Shari. And welcome Johnny. Good to see you popping in. I'm guessing you're uh, in between um, cruises. Welcome Linda. And welcome Stephanie. Good to see you as well, Pat. <clears throat> so I really uh, am creating this not only for the veterans, which most of you, as I see coming online, are. Uh, 
relatively familiar with Master Sha. I would say about 60% of you are relatively familiar with Master Sha, and maybe 30 to 40% are still understanding him a little bit more. And so one of the reasons I'm creating this is so that other people know. I'll be posting this on my, uh, my webpage for people to watch uh, if they want to, to spend the full hour. <clears throat> I do have um, an aspect of my webpage that is dedicated to my teacher, to understanding who he is. And so I will be copying this on there uh, so that people can know more. But it's a great way also, as you'll see through the course of today, to understand who is Dr. and Master Shah. I also will be offering a, uh, a healing blessing to one person I've asked them to join already. They've been suffering from lower back pain for quite a while. And I'm going to be doing that for this one person uh, for two reasons. One, they, they have already honored for some other healings. Um, and they've been very patient generating uh, enough financial blessings so that they can get some blessings for their lower back. So I'll be offering them a, a middle level blessing. But the purpose is so that those that watch this understand that I do not do the blessings. Dr. and Master Shah does, Divine does, and I would not be able to do them without this Master joining us. So thank you all for sharing the video. I really appreciate it. So let us all first connect heart to heart, soul to soul, <clears throat> and welcome Nicole. Placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, uh, which is just like a prayer position, we drop the left hand in front of our heart center. Dear Divine, close your eyes. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah, I love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. I invite you to be present at this time. I ask for you, please assist all those that are watching. Come to sit in their heart center. Come to bless their soul journey in whatever way is most appropriate to open the heart and soul so that today's teaching, they have a much higher and deeper understanding of the power and significance of Dr. and Master Shah and the message that he brings to humanity. Please bless me to speak the highest, best, and most important words that can best serve this most benevolent being so that each of these souls that watch, not only do they understand more, but they feel moved to tell others about this uh, being and his message of love, peace, and harmony for humanity and so many more messages that will be revealed here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. Please turn on. As we chant Love, Peace and Harmony, I invite you to please bless all of us today to open our heart and soul and bless our request for whatever is most needed. We are very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. 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 Wai tran ran lei wang li ying rong her mu shi shang shang ai ping on her she shang ai ping on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those that have just um, just tuned in, please share to all those that on your, uh, that come to your timeline. They will see this share, and they will also be made available this opportunity to learn more about Doctor and Master Shah, which is the subject of today. For all those that have shared, I see twelve shares. I'm very very grateful to all of you. <clears throat> you know, uh, one of the first teachings that Doctor and Master Shah gave when he was in an event was that sharing creates virtue 
And uh, he explained, he asked one of his top teachers, Dr. and Master Francisco, to come up to explain. And Master Francisco said, I didn't understand that. I sat in Master Shaw's classes for almost a year before I finally, heaven finally showed me something that helped me to understand the value of sharing. He said, I saw uh, a student, Ma Master Marilyn, she's a master now. At that time, she was not a master. And he says, I saw a student um, come up to share their experience. And as they shared, in my third eye, I saw heaven uh, drop flowers on top of her. And he said, I realized that she was receiving heaven's virtue for sharing. Now the entire time, what had happened is he let his ego get in the way. He didn't want to go up, he was embarrassed. Oh my goodness, what will people think? You know, uh, they might be looking at me. And he realized that when somebody shares, heaven showers virtue on them. Why does heaven do that? Very simply because if it's heaven's wisdom, if it's heaven's blessings, if it opens up somebody else's soul, their heart, if it, if it prepares them to be better on their soul journey, then sharing will receive virtue. So this is again a little bit deeper teachings. This teaching was brought to us by the subject matter of this uh, conversation today, which who is Dr. and Master Shah? <coughs> so I want to read to you, uh, first of all, one of the, um, one of the uh, messages directly from his book. Now this is on the inside of his book and describes who is Dr. and Master Shah. And when we read this, well, I guess it's not in his softback books, is it? It's only in his hardbacks. So let me find one of his hardbacks. And we'll read that. I'm going to go into more detail, but this is what is on the inside cover. Again, many of you know, many of you have wanted a way to share who this master is with people that you care about. My suggestion, share this video, because there's a great way to understand him, and that is through another person. Instead of him talking, um, people sometimes don't resonate with him because Master Shaw can be very um, expressive and people have mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs about that. And so by having a third party share about him, this could be a middle ground. It is a great way to share. <clears throat> this is from the book Soul Healing Miracles, which I will go into a little bit more detail in a little while. Millions of people on Mother Earth are suffering from sickness. Millions of people are suffering from their spiritual, mental, and emotional and physical bodies. Millions of people have limited or no access to health care. They want solutions. Millions of people are searching for spiritual secrets, wisdom, knowledge, and practical techniques to transform their physical lives and their spiritual journeys. The key, the keys to physical life and spiritual journey good health, good relationships, flourishing and finances. The key to soul life is to reach soul enlightenment. Master Shah's Soul Healing Miracle and all of his book teaches the empowerments to humanity and to create soul healing miracles. Readers will learn sacred wisdom and sacred soul healing techniques through all of his books. So who is Dr. and Master Shah? He is a soul leader and a world-renowned divine servant. Divine servant. He is the creator of soul, mind, body, medicine. He was trained as a conventional medical doctor in China and a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine in Canada and China. The founder of the Institute of Soul Healing and Enlightenment and the Love, Peace, Peace harmony movement. Master Shah is a grand master in many ancient disciplines, including a grand master of Qigong, a grand master of Tai Chi. He is a grand master of Kung Fu. He is a grand master of Feng Shui and of the I Ching. Master Shah is also an expert in the most advanced cellular healing sciences now occurring in China, in the West. He is the involved in breakthrough medical research on the effects of spirit on the human system. 
Master Sha was named Qigong Master of the Year in the Fifth World Congress of Qigong in 2006. He was honored with the prestigious Martin Luther King Commemorative Commission Award for his humanitarian efforts. He has television programs. The Power of Soul debuted on public television in 2010, and he has also debuted programs on PBS. So this is just a synopsis of who is Dr. and Master Shah. And now I'll go into a little more detail. <clears throat> Dr. and Master Shah came to, into my vision after I uh, was on a spiritual path for about, um, probably about 30 years. I started my spiritual path around the age of 19. And how that happened was Dr., uh, excuse me, as um, I moved into a household where spirituality was practiced and I picked up a few books there. And that opened up my remembering process because we've all been souls, we've all been on this soul journey before. So everybody knew this, just starting to be, they're, they're playing with light workers and they're playing with tarot and they're wondering about astrology and they're just in the beginning of their soul journey. This is not the first time you've been on this path. Each, um, each thing you dabble in is designed to awaken your soul to the highest and deepest uh, possibilities of opening up. We are very blessed to have a being like Dr. and Master Shah because he brings to us PhD level wisdom from the beginning. So uh, I'm going to, to touch on each of those PhD level wisdoms so that you realize they're stepping stones. It's basically like getting the college degree, the PhD and everything all the way up to and through enlightenment, what is through enlightenment? That is immortality. How do you find a teacher that teaches us the stepping stones from ABC through immortality? They're exceedingly rare. So my encouragement is you watch the entirety of this teaching, this video, so you understand the pathway to get there and the power and significance of this being. And when I discovered uh, him, I had went through and through all of these steps that a lot of people are currently going through. And I mentioned some of them. I went through Terra. I went through numerology. I understood the value in them. I understood Zodiac and the various Zodiacs and the value in each of them. The, the astrology of the stars. Each of those have a very good value with understanding uh, so many aspects of who we are in the now, in the moment, and how to move forward in the now and in the moment, how to move through those moment-to-moment -moment blockages. <clears throat> Everything that's out there serves a purpose. There is not one simple solution or answer. But there is duplicatable pathways, and they have been brought to us by our Creator, and they've been placed forth through the higher level beings that have come forth to us in uh, past time and in current time. And in the past times, our beloved Buddha and his great uh, uh, disciples, including Kuan Yin and so many others have come to us. The great being Master Jesus has come to us and his disciples, and they have brought great wisdom. There is current masters that are bringing great wisdom to us, and we rarely get one like Dr. Master Shah. The chances of aligning to a master of this nature is not that great unless someone like me and someone like you share this so that other people's soul journeys can be awoken. So there's a great value in sharing. So, <clears throat> uh, uh, briefly, I trained under a Korean master who is an enlightened master, and what he taught me was on the physical level through, through uh, martial arts practices, how to open up the energy body, how to boost power to the uh, chakra system. And that allowed me to feel energy for the very first time. I was approximately 37 years old at that time. I had not felt energy, knew about it, had never actually felt it. And that was the first master I trained under a few years to experience that. Then. I uh, trained under a local master here in Hawaii. She's a female master who trained in China, and her name is Master Qin Yin. And that was, uh, that's not her birth name, that was her given name by her masters. And she trained with some of the masters not to be talked about. Uh, one quick story, she said she went for a night walk, and uh, on that night walk, they each had to tie a ribbon around their waist. And they went for a beautiful night walk. It was full moon. They all had a wonderful time. Came back the next day, went back, got a little sleep, got up, went out for a day walk. And during that day walk, the teacher had, uh, had all of them look up to the side of a completely 90 degree mountain. Vertical, 180 degree, whatever that is. 
not a degree person, but it was a vertical mountain. And on this vertical mountain, they saw each of their, um, their ribbons tied to a tree limb, which is what the teacher asked them to do in the middle of that night walk. Now, there was no way except by repelling to put those ribbons on that mountain. They had each walked by that many times in the previous years of training and never once any of them had seen those ribbons, let alone seven of them, uh, which was the party that was walking along that mountain. So how is it that this master and those disciples walked a vertical mountain, each tied a ribbon to a tree, and each was able to uh, experience that the next day? Clear the blockages in the phone and in the signal. Transmission. So um, it happened because their mind was not in the way. It happened because they trained with the master in the deep mountains that no one knew about. And today no one's going to know about them because this is heaven's wisdom that is brought to humanity through exceedingly high beings and it is just not shared with that many souls out there. You have to go through intensive purification to be able to do those kinds of things. You just don't walk up the side of a vertical mountain unless you do it with a master. And that is the kind of being Dr. and Master Shah is. He's bringing to us Tao abilities. What I just given you an example of was a Tao ability. That was my second master. Now, she did not have the ability to explain much in English, and I trained with her for about three years. I just went through deep purification. I didn't learn much, but my body was purifying and preparing me to meet Dr. and Master Shah. In meeting Dr. and Master Shah, uh, I saw him doing things like bowing down and other people bowing down. Uh, he, he would always say, you're not bowing down to me, you're bowing down to the divine. I am a divine channel, vehicle, and servant. And then he would say, I bow down to God, you bow down to God. And he has to tell that to the audience because of their perception. They think that people are bowing down to him. And so immediately their ego rises up. Who is this person to be called a master? Who is this person to, to accept bow downs? So he always has to teach the audience this um, this form of respect. He said, in America, they look at it as ego. You know, the, uh, if somebody has a negative response, it's an ego response. He said, in China, you know, I was born, uh, I was uh, taught at a very early age. You always bow down to your teacher, the person that is teaching you uh, about life, spirituality, even your parents. So we have such limited perspective over here. So. Um, by the second or third day upon meeting this master, I was bowing down to his soul and to <clears throat> the divine who had came to bring this benevolent being. So the question becomes, what did he bring to us? What he brought was some extraordinary wisdom, he brought extraordinary healing, and he brought an extraordinary message. And the wisdom led to the healing, which led to the message. He has one main goal. And he expresses that goal in what in his uh, books. And he expresses it in what is called his message to humanity. Now, it is, it is spoken of in his purpose. Now, I'm going to read this to you. This is in the front of all of his books. This is Master Shah, and he speaks this in each one of his books. This is who this soul really is. The purpose of life is to serve. I have committed my life to this purpose. Service is my life mission. My total life mission is to transform the consciousness of humanity and, and, and all souls in all universes and enlighten them. He didn't stop with humanity, guys. Enlighten them to create love and peace and harmony for humanity, Mother Earth, and all universes. This mission includes three empowerments. My first empowerment is to teach universal service, to empower people, to be unconditional universal servants. This is his first empowerment, to teach people to serve other people. This message of universal service is... I serve humanity and all universes unconditionally. You serve humanity and all universes unconditionally. Together, we serve humanity and all souls in all universes unconditionally. That's just his first mandate. His second empowerment, to teach healing. To empower people to heal themselves 
and to heal others. Not to empower people to trust in a medical industry that's out to take your money and keep you semi-healthy. No, to empower people to heal themselves. And by the way, he would not say that. That was my sharp tongue and I need to curve my tongue as he would teach. But I have, I have a bit of resentment about a medical industry that manipulates people. The message of healing is, I have the power to heal myself. You have the power to heal yourself. <clears throat> Together, we have the power to heal the world. What a beautiful, beautiful heart. His third empowerment, he goes on to, to, to write in all of his books, my third empowerment is to teach the power of soul, which includes soul secrets, wisdom, knowledge, and practical techniques to transmit divine soul power so that people can be empowered to transform every aspect of their lives and enlighten their soul, hearts, minds, and bodies. <clears throat> totally, this is the message. I have the power, I have the soul power to transform my consciousness and every aspect of life and enlighten my soul, heart, mind, and body. You have the soul power to transform your consciousness and every aspect of your life and enlighten your soul, heart, mind, and body. Together, we have the soul power to transform consciousness and every aspect of life and enlighten humanity and all souls. Give me just a moment. <clears throat> now, I know as I see your names pop up, that many of you have heard this before. This is not for you. This is for everybody else that you've ever cared about that wants to understand who is Dr. and Master Shah. So please share. So going forward, Dr. and Master Shah has helped us in many ways. He has made websites that offer free healing. People have such difficulty with paying money for healing I have to do a quick teaching on that. Where does the healing come from and why does it cost money and why does a miracle occur? Does it, does it occur if you don't pay? The answer is, of course it occurs if you don't pay. It just occurs a lot faster if you do what's called honoring. Let's talk about that just a little bit. Why does somebody suffer? Bottom line, the, the one sentence secret that Master Shah brings to us so one censored secret, many of them in his books. The, the um, root of all success and all failure in every aspect of life of karma is karma. The root of any suffering you have, including pain, emotional, mental pain, whatever it is, is karma. Who caused the karma? Did Dr. and Master Shah cause the karma? No. Did God cause the karma? No. Did Buddha Jesus cause the karma? No. Who caused the karma? You or your ancestors caused the karma. So, when a blessing is offered by Dr. and Master Shah, or any of his divine channels, or any of the universal servants that have received healing abilities, why should you willingly, happily, joyfully, joyfully honor for that? Why should you? Because when you receive a blessing, that pain dissipates sometimes instantaneously and it's 100% gone. That's about 50% of the time. The rest of the time it takes time. Why does it instantly go away? Your karma brought it to you. Why did it instantly go away? Because who Dr. and Master Shah is. He is what is called a divine vehicle, servant and channel. That means he was chosen. Do you understand that your ego might not like that? That your ego might say, well, who is he so special to be chosen? He didn't ask to be chosen. He didn't come into this world and say, dear God, choose me so I could sacrifice my life, not see my kids 18 years of your life, not see them graduate, not see them make art, not see them go to the school of plays. Please, God, choose me so I can travel in the world and serve everybody else and ignore my wife and ignore my kids. He didn't say that. What he said was, I am honored, God, to be a servant, vehicle, and channel because you have chosen me. I don't know what it means, but you do. So whatever you want me to do, I'm willing to do. This master gives his life every day to save our lives. How do I know that? 
I've watched them for nine years. I didn't go to just one event, one retreat, or listen to them one time on the telephone and make an assumption based on a lack of information. I didn't do that. I became educated. Dr. Master Shah asked people to honor because he asked God to clear our spiritual debt. That's why a miracle occurs. Heaven says, my son, Master Shah, you have asked me to offer a blessing to this soul. I will do so because I have chosen you as my vehicle and servant. I will do so because humanity needs more light. I will do so because I have asked you to come to humanity to bring love, peace, and harmony, to serve humanity at the highest levels. And there is so much darkness on earth. And in order to make more light, I am empowering you, Dr. Master Shah, this is the divine, I am empowering you, Dr. Master Shah, to be a universal servant. I will give you healing abilities. I will give you abilities to clear the darkness from human beings. That is who this servant to humanity is. He has been given powers and authorities that are truly almost one of a kind. They're the kind that have been given to the highest beings that have ever come. They're the kind that have been given to the Buddhas, to the Jesuses, to the, uh, um, to the very high level beings that have offered miracle healing of this nature in the past. That's the kind of servant this being is. And he is the most humble being as he never, ever, 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 ever takes credit. And you would know that if you stuck around long enough to watch him serve. He puts his head on the ground each time and offers credit to the divine because he knows he does not have enough virtue in his bank account in heaven to pay our spiritual debt. He knows only the Creator does, and he is just the middleman offering the request. That's why miracles occur, and that's why an honor fee has to be given. When you give an honor fee, money is received. What happens to that money? It pays for him and many traveling around the world giving the message of love, peace, and harmony. It pays for very expensive hotels. It pays for the rental space, the electricity bill. It pays for your water that you drink while you're there, which, by the way, is $75 per refill of the water, um, which happens about three times a day. So just filling up the water for that week costs about $2,000. It's extraordinary what it costs to travel around the world. He is paying to pay for the fees for all those that are serving him to make videos so he can put free videos, free healing videos all over the internet, over, over uh, 200 free healing videos on YouTube, uh, a 24 hour, 24 seven chanting channel offering free healing. And he has asked God to transmit countless saints and saints animals and temple souls to the 24 hour tr free chanting channel. That's who Dr. and Master Shah is. He then put free healing in all of his books, 20 of them. One of the first ones, Power Healing, Soul Mind Body Medicine. This has over 100 images in it of Dr. Master Shah teaching people how to do healing for themselves. Then he brought forth the Love, Peace, Harmony CD to humanity. The Love, Peace, Harmony CD <clears throat> is based on a song that, that the Divine gave him. Uh, the quick story is, uh, three students traveling in the Redwood Forest with him. And they said, Dear Master Shah, uh, we're so honored to be with you on this mission to serve humanity with love and peace and harmony. Can you please ask the Divine for a song? Master Shah said, I'm happy to do so. Dear Divine, can you please offer a song for this mission of love, peace and harmony? I want to talk about the word mission before I go back to this important song. People hear the word mission. Their ego gets involved. They think of something that's religious. What is a mission? It is a motivation to accomplish a task. This, in this case, Dr. Master Shah is on a mission, yes. And if you listen, you'll hear that. And if you have ego, it might bring up a flare. Oh, this is a mission. This is a cult. This is this. This is that. That is a lack of intelligent understanding. Do your homework. This is a mission of love, peace, and harmony, as he was tasked to do by the Creator. This song came. And he heard the words, Lula, 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 Li. And he understood this is what's called soul language. And so he asked, Dear Divine, can I please have the translation? And the Divine said, uh, he gave him the Mandarin Chinese translation. And then he wrote it down. Uh, 
And then he asked his students to translate it to English, and he gave them the English translation. Within a few minutes, they had the English words, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. What an amazing song to receive in moments, but they didn't know how to sing it. Dear God, can I please have a melody? And then they received, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. And then he had a person who is uh, one of the greatest conductors in the world from China make music for this. And then he took the copyright off it and gave it to humanity. It has been transmitted into over 50 languages and it is sung around the world. He has uplifted this song because he has the power to transmit power into these books, which I'll go into more in a minute. He has the power to put healing power into music. And if you get this CD, you download it uh, free anywhere off the internet, off YouTube, off the lovepeaceharmony.org website, you can heal your grandma, your grandpa, your kids, anybody you care about it. If you're a teacher, put it in your room, over in the corner, put it on volume one. No one ever needs to know about it. You're not breaking any laws. Watch your classroom go from lack of attention to attention. Watch the intelligence level go from a 7 to a 10. Watch the, the, the people in the class, the kids in the class that act up, go to kids that do not act up from putting God music in your classroom. That is called the power of soul, which is what Dr. and Master Shah has brought. Soul wisdom, soul communication, how to communicate with the soul world. The Divine Love, Peace, Harmony Rainbow Light Ball. I've been using this most recently in healing. This is one of three healing instruments that can be used anywhere on the planet, anytime. All you need is the ability to remember it. Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, Divine Love, Peace, Harmony Rainbow Light Ball, and the Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. These three are all extraordinary, miracle healing instruments. And all you need to do is call upon them. You don't know if it works. If you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. That's a one sentence secret from Dr. and Master Shah. Call the healing balls from heaven. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Dear Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. Dear the Source Soul Song, Love, Peace, Harmony. Please all come. Please help me with my lower back pain. Chant Love, Peace, and Harmony while these balls come to you and sit in your lower back. Chant 10, 15 minutes. You probably had your lower back pain 10 years. If you want to know if a pair is sweet, taste it. This is the power that a real being with real authority that heaven really created, heaven really brought to earth, heaven grew and brought him the exact masters to teach him to be a being similar to a Jesus and a Buddha. You need to understand who is Dr. and Master Shah. Why does a being of this caliber come to humanity? Because that's an extraordinary high caliber. I don't say these words lightly, guys. You don't, you don't say something like he's like a Jesus or a Buddha without expecting people to curl their hair on top of their head. Okay, People's skin is curdling right now. There are people that are turning off this video right now because they can't possibly believe that God could bring another being of that caliber to humanity. I'm telling you, that is who this being is. And if you do your homework, if you practice just applying this, you'll start to understand that God exists and God can bring power into a human being and that that power can be transferred to other people and to you. Which brings me to my next book, Divine Transformation. In virtually every one of Dr. Master Shah's books, he puts what's called divine transmissions to help us to heal. What was one of his three uh, 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 mandates, the three promises he made to serve humanity and teach them unconditional service, to teach them how to heal themselves, and to teach them to reach enlightenment. 
So how do they heal themselves? I just gave you a few more examples. Here's a few more. In almost every one of Dr. Master Shah's books, he transmits power. And all you have to do is open the book to the bold print and read it. And when you do, you'll receive a permanent, permanent, attached to your soul, never to ever leave your soul, light ball of golden liquid springs. And, and a golden light ball and golden liquid springs. Or rainbow light ball rainbow liquid springs or purple light ball and purple liquid springs. These treasures in and of themselves are more healing than you will ever receive in your entire lifetime by your own abilities. That's the kind of power that has been given to this master that has then been transferred to you. The next one that he brought is called Divine Healing Hands. And I want to take a moment with this. Divine Healing Hands is an actual healing ability. It has been transferred to human beings and you need to understand how extraordinary that is. You need to you need to go out of your way to become a divine healing hands healer. How can I say this with such emphasis and such knowledge? Would you like to have God's hand on your hand? Would you like to in any moment, in any condition, be able to lift your hand and ask God to come through you to heal that pet that was just hit by a car on the road. To heal your child that has a deep and suffering toothache. To ask your hand, God's hand, to bless the relationship between you and that child that is bullying your child. To offer the most appropriate blessings so that the bullying stops and so that their karmic relationship dissolves. Would you like that kind of power? Would you like the power to offer your grandmother a blessing 2,000 miles away when she is suffering something or a friend that's suffering from cancer? That kind of power is being transmitted to human beings and that is beyond extraordinary. This, guys, is not Reiki. This is God's power in a human's hand and it can be transmitted to those that are truly on the spiritual path. It's called Divine Healing Hands. And it is transmitted through a three-day workshop in which you get the teaching, the wisdoms, and the blessings. And it's only $625. I, I mean, can, are you kidding me? That's like, that's like $2 a day, one time in a year. And now you can heal your family forever. It comes with extraordinary healing abilities. It comes with light wall protection so that you are not harmed by communicable diseases or natural disasters. Who can offer these kinds of protections? Only a true and authentic being. And if you do your homework, you will find well over 200 videos on YouTube that you just type in Divine Healing Hands YouTube. You'll get hundreds of videos from people who have offered they are nobodies. They just said, I want to heal, and they received it, and they can tell you again and again and again miracles that occurred because they wanted to serve humanity. Who can do that except a real being who has real authority? He brought to us divine soul songs and song and dance. Divine soul songs and song and dance. Why? I asked one of Dr. Master Shah's uh, most uh, mature, um, long-standing masters. I said, Master Patricia, what are we going to do if the world takes a dump, if the economy dies, if there's a war and people are freaking out left and right? What are we going to do if a major disease comes and we can't, humanity doesn't have an answer? I know we've been trained by Master Shah, but I need, I need a one-sentence simple answer. What are we going to do? This is what she said. She said, Paul, Master Shah didn't know how to sing, and he certainly didn't know how to dance. He was taught by, doctor, he was taught by the divine soul songs, and he was taught soul dance. And we will sing and we will dance is what she said. We will sing love, peace, and harmony to calm people's hearts because it will carry the highest healing ever. And we will move our bodies to release the pain and suffering that is all around us. Why are these brought to humanity at this time? Why is such a benevolent being here at this time? 
because humanity is in a dump, guys. Pull your head out of the sand. Many of you are watching know this. Some of you are completely oblivious. You just, every night, Tuesday night, you know, CSI, Wednesday night, uh, uh, some comedy, Thursday night, some vicious cut you up show. Numbness does not separate us from the fact that war is imminent in almost any moment, that uh, disease is, is, is being widely distributed out there, that darkness has a great big hold on the finances and the politics and the media. These things are real. And this kind and level of darkness is not benefiting humanity to reach enlightenment. In these kinds of times, great beings are brought to serve. That's why Divine Healing Hands is here. That's why Soul Song, Soul Dance is here. That's why we are given the opportunity to wake up. That's why Master Shah is here. Only 15% of humanity is awakened at this time. They've reached a form of soul enlightenment in which they have awareness. 15%. That means 85% are pretty numb. So our job as aware spiritual beings, as people that are responding to this communication, people that are moved by this communication, our job as spiritual beings is to make others aware. We cannot allow ourselves to worry about their perception. That is not what a spiritual being does. We offer the wisdom. We don't have an attachment to their awakening or not. We allow it to their soul and their heaven's teams to do that job. We just offer the wisdom. Dr. and Master Shah can serve many, many souls in many ways. And one of them is through enlightenment. And he has brought to us Tao 1 and Tao 2. The retreat's coming up in California. If you're interested in reaching the highest levels of enlightenment, then go to his website and learn more about the upcoming events and retreats. Dr. Master Shah realizes that humanity will take a lot of time to understand both who he is, what's his purpose, and it will take them time to move through and past their blame, their naming, their lack of understanding, and their need for validation and proof. And so in doing so, he has a book in the process for validating medically all of the healing miracles. He has a book with over 60 individual can't argue, like kind of like double blind placebo, no way you can argue with it, individual healing blessings that range from mental blockages, addictions, to emotional things like depressions, all the way to every single body part, organ, system, and health condition that you can think of, and the whole range can't be argued with written by an exceedingly well-respected surgeon who also has all the credentials that can't be argued with. That book is coming for the medical industry so that they can wake up that miracles can occur with divine power, soul power. He has another book that he's written recently with a co-author, Dr. Rulin Shu, on science to bridge the gap between belief system, soul, and science. To let people know that heaven and science can merge well together, that one does not beget the other, that they work together. It's called the unification theory, and it's the one theory that has evaded the entirety of science. Unification, what does that mean? That means oneness. Oneness theory, that means the one theory that answers every question ever. Every religious question, every science question, everything. One solution for everything, unification theory. He's already moved towards that. The answers are still coming through that science cannot object because the answer will be validated mathematically. That cannot be possible by some regular Smo Joe who's got the name Master in front of his name. It can only be possible by someone who is divinely guided by original creation so that humanity can become one together in oneness, in love and peace and harmony. That, my friends, who have stuck with me this entire time, while I've raised my voice, while I've spoken in great belief, is why? We need to trust, love, and mostly we need to support this being. And what he brings, the message that he brings, 
is the message of soul. Soul over matter. We must move past the mind and believe and know that soul, all things soul, soul healing, soul song, soul dance, soul wisdom, soul communication, soul everything is our future. Simple teachings from Dr. and Master Shah. We are a soul first and then the mind and body follows. When you heal the soul first, the healing of the mind and the body will follow. All things originate at the level of soul. And this is the teachings that is the foundation of everything that he has ever brought and sacrificed his entire life to do. This is why he only sees his children the equivalent of 30 days a year. This is why he, he, he has dedicated the other, uh, what is that, 330 days to everybody else. Because it is not his message. It is the divine's message. And it is not a message that is designed to cause friction amongst any belief system. It is a message that is free of a rigorous belief, save the teaching that some religious systems choose not to acknowledge that we live more than once. And because we live more than once, as a soul with free will, we have the opportunity to make choices that are in alignment with love and benefit our and other soul journey or we have the free will to make choices that are out of alignment with love in discordant and therefore create unpleasant marks on our soul. And that creates what is called negative karma. This people categorize as religious, but it truly is not. It is divine wisdom that has been brought to us. It is something that validates itself out through the healing blessings that are offered. Through the forgiveness practice, which is the core of Dr. Amashar Shah's teaching, Love melts all blockages, forgiveness brings inner peace, inner joy. These are the two core teachings that have never left and have always been expounded upon in every one of his teachings. It is the core teachings that will be here when he is gone, when all of us are gone. The books, the wisdom, and the core teachings of love and forgiveness will remain. The core teachings of heal the soul first will remain. The core teachings that heal the soul first and the mind and body. All of this will remain because that is what great masters bring. We can only pray that it will not be prostituted like some of the belief systems that have been manipulated to create prosperity for those that wish to hurt others. We can hope and pray that as we move forward, the darkness dissipates, the light becomes stronger, and we're able to move this message forward with integrity. That is our greatest service to humanity that we can do at this time. How can you help yourself? Learn more about Dr. and Master Shah. How can you help others? Pass the soul song of love, peace, and harmony with very little information. Just say, if you don't want to have the suffering that you're having, just do this experiment. Put this on and play it for 21 days. Play it 24-7 in your home, in your office, in your car. You can play it on volume one just for 21 days. If things have not gotten better, then I apologize for, for uh, you know, wasting your time. That's how you change a person's life. You want to teach them about divine healing hands? Just give them the book. There's 20 healings in the book. It'll change their life. You want to help your friend with a relationship? Give them a book. It'll change their life. You want to do something for your grandmother that's 2,000 miles away and you don't have any healing abilities or so you think? Call Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Ask it to subdivide and go. Sh call Shah's uh, uh, Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. Ask it to go to your grandmother, to your child, to someone you care about and to bring blessings to them. And then close your eyes and visualize that ball blessing them while you chant Love, Peace, and Harmony. Miracles can occur. In this day and age, it is becoming commonplace. It only requires our awareness. It has been my greatest honor to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. And with that label, that title, comes a great deal of responsibility to stand and be smacked, to speak the truth knowing that other people and their lack of awareness 
might say something negative. But the reality is, if I or you allow that to occur, when a being of this service, this caliber, this value to all souls and all universes, if we are unable to do that, then what that says is we are putting our self first over the person next to us, over the other people. And we will never move forward on our soul journey if we place our self first. It's just not going to happen. So we want to move from selfishness to selflessness. And the higher that any of the students and teachers go on Master Shah's teachings, the harder the teachings get. Master Shah is very joyful to the public, but in the private teachings, he is very hard on his teachers. He is teaching us to watch our thoughts, to be very pure in our thoughts, our words, and our actions, to speak only with love and forgiveness and compassion and light, to be only of service, to move towards enlightenment, to demand humility of ourselves. He teaches the ten das with great authority, and he threatens to remove our power if we do not, because the power is not ours to be throwing around. It is ours to serve. That is the mark of an extraordinary master. That is the mark of a being that has been brought here by our Creator to serve all of us. It is my great honor to give you this teaching today of who is Dr. and Master Shah. I love you all. I love my Master. And I'm honored to offer this teaching. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Thank you, Heaven. I'll see you tomorrow.